We are privileged to have uh, signed MOU with the Masaka stage welfare sector. And this uh, Masaka stage is uh, an umbrella body of all the taxes that operate that route of Masaka. This uh, MOU is uh, a good sign that Masaka City is now going to work with Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union in the terms of organizing workers in the informal sector. And as you are aware, informal sector is one of the key areas that Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union is focusing on. Some of the challenges that the union is uh, going to solve is, first of all, interlinking the the, the the taxi operators, the owners, and also the authorities, the city authorities, ensure that the working place environment is conducive. Secondly, there are issues that affect the taxi drivers, the conductors, especially where they are working. These jobs of uh, conductor drivers were created by in the informal sector. First of all, the union must make sure that these jobs are not erased by authorities, by maybe chasing them, making them irrelevant. They must, we must bridge that gap between the city and the drivers and also the owners of the, these uh, vehicles to ensure that there's that relationship. Yeah, my name is Moses Maoje Birongi. Happen to be the chairperson of Masaka Estate in the Nutax Parker, Kampala. But at the same time, I'm the spokesperson of UTOF. That's the federation that federated all tax organizations in Kampala. Yes, we are here to forge a memorandum, memorandum of understanding with American Transport and General Workers Union, ATIGU, in abbreviation, so that it caters for our needs. You see, as taxi operators, we, are, we, look to, we seem to be marginalized by the majority of other workers. That's why they even they call us informal, yet we are formal. So we are here to forge a memorandum so that uh, anything that comes across us in a, a, a crooked way, the union comes in to assist us, to, to lobby, to sensitize, and advocate for our rights. We have been hearing of it and we have been having some other organizations that we belonged to, that were affiliated to it, and we knew the importance of being a unionist. So we are happy that we are here. We have forged and finalized the memorandum of understanding with the, with the Atugu, and we are now proceeding to any needs that come across us so that they meet them and we move steadily. I appeal to other stages that are affiliated to certain uh, organizations like a federation as UTOF that please bear with us join UTOF let UTOF be affiliated to ITGU so that we move steadily and without any hardship any hardship that comes our way we are assisted by the union because union is there for the workers my name is David Msoke, the Organizing Secretary for Roads, Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union. Uh, today it's very memorable that we have signed an MOU with Mathaka A stage. And the importance of this MOU is that it brings workers with the union to work together. Uh, there are two types of workers. One is the informal and the other is the formal. When it comes to formal workers, the union signs a, a collective bargaining agreement with the employer. But when it comes to informal workers, we sign a memorandum of understanding whereby we set out rules and guidelines 
for which we can assist, we can defend, we can organize ourselves. This is very relevant because to streamline transport, the union is very paramount. We need the union in. So what are we going to do for, for, for the transport people? Defend their rights, uh, protect them from exploitation, uh, at least we shall do to, stream, to streamline their transport system. All this the union does. And we link them to uh, national and international organization. These are the things that we always give. But the most important thing that these workers are going to get is training. The union educates and trains everyone now and then. These are the things that we are going to do for Massacre Estate. Uh, Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union uh, found out that uh, informal workers were not being protected. And one of the things that was the lack of who is the negotiating, fa well, the negotiating partner. We identified the biggest negotiating partner to be the local governments, the urban authorities. So we actually have uh, tried to go and sign MOU for the protection of workers with the, these urban authorities. So far we have signed four MOUs with cities and uh, our relevance is that we need to negotiate with them and uh, soon in Jinja we are putting up a, 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 negotiate, a negotiating council for the Jinja transport workers so that we can meet the town clerk, the mayor, the chairperson of the district so that we can see that our workers are protected and uh, uh, we are doing this again to see that these policies that are coming in become part and parcel of the, wa the informal workers. So this is actually what we are doing to put more emphasis, energy into the transport workers and see how they are protected and they could have a better life.